Yay. Take two. of uh, coming on live as guided. Welcome for those of you when you come in. It's taking quite a lot of energy struggle. Hi Marilyn, hey EJ, Angela. It, it took, um, I was ready half an hour ago. It took me 30 minutes. to push through the energies. Just waiting while you each come in for whoever is guided to be available. This was an extremely difficult one to push through for part two of seven. Hello, welcome. Wherever you are, whatever time zone you are, oh, I love, love back to all of you as well. Part two of seven, 25th of March, 2020, Australian Eastern Standard Time. Seven of the seven days of seven levels or seven layers of seven chakras <laughs> from the 24th to the 31st of March. <sighs> we, um, big breakthrough of um, darker energies last night that I shared about briefly. I'll just wait for others to come in. Hi, Denise. Hey, Georgia. Um, that others felt and they felt that they did it themselves. Only for them it wasn't. It was um, pretty big. Um, I've been, um, I'll just say briefly, it was just put back into a box um, and it was from another galaxy. Anyway, so. It was a big breakthrough of darker energies um, that I was part of as my role to do with humanity with the divine at the highest levels that many of you are part of as well. Um, uh, those who say there are none, just move along then, just switch off and hop off here then because it is what it is. Um, I do know this energy was put back into a box from another galaxy. And I do assure you of that. When I say things, I don't say them lightly. People have learned that when I share something, they grab onto it and realise, yes, that is for all of humanity. Yes, that is validation and we're human. That's why it's taken so long. And I choose very carefully what I share with you all as proof, proof, proof. So are we ready to go? Yes, the seven. Good night. Irina. <laughs> Hello from Cairns, you're at work, watch it later. All right, Amy, darling, see you when you come on. Hello, Tarika, Sylvia, Sharon. Hi, darlings, good to see you all here. So we've got whoever is here now, it's a few minutes in, so we're just going to keep going because, you know, the word elite came for those who come on at certain times for these different parts. <clears throat> Today is day two, part two of seven. Each of you have been chosen of the chosen to come on to assist with these. Okay, big shift in clearing. We're going straight into the energies of the planet. We're not mucking around here. This is a family of humanity, the humanity family energy of completion of completion. It is also to do with avoiding the inner child with many who are feeling lost by getting lost in the head and not feeling. Very intense energies, very intense energies, bringing these words through newly, first time, breaking through, bringing it out. Part one briefly covered what are you angry about deeply within your core. Go within to find a new self that needs to be newly created. Step up to the plate and trust yourself. What are you angry with with yourself? And, and the message was in part one, was to sit with that and something will come up and surface. Somebody sat with that. And they said they couldn't figure it out and they got distracted and they got lost with the head and they felt there was a block and they can, you know, it was, 
some really strong energies right now. Just give me a second. Really tough, really, really tough. So I'm really going to push through, do this a bit differently um, because there's really strong energies coming through. <clears throat> so I have to switch off and I just have to go into this zone. Get out of the headmasters and the control and come back into yourself. I keep saying that over and over because it's really true. It's about being conscious of your consciousness. How conscious are you? Be conscious of how conscious are you? That's what super consciousness is. When I asked this soul, when they said, I tried to find, I couldn't find, I couldn't feel. When you said, sit with, what are you angry about? They couldn't feel it. Then I said to them, maybe it could be so simple. What is it that you're angry with yourself? And they come up with it instantly for them. Let them so, uh, I said, what do you feel that you've let yourself down with in the past? And they said, making mistakes. I felt I should not have made a mistake. So when we verbalise and table that, it helped that person to become consciously aware of that so she could then change it. So still with the video, part one of seven, what are you angry about, deep in your core, that still does need to be addressed. These live divine healing videos are ahead of their time, Masters. Okay, we're starting to get a flow in now. Starting to get a flow in. This is good. People are also falling into head traps of the thoughts only doing the hope and no no. People have said to me many times, I keep doing the hope and no no. And I said, if you keep needing to do it, darling, it means you're doing it from your head. Many people say, I keep doing it and doing it. If you do it once and you feel it genuinely, you don't need to do it again over and over for the same area this is just to help people be aware this is not having a go at anyone it's being really gentle and loving it's about it's always about forgiveness absolutely forgiveness of self yes it is about forgiveness of self over and over it's not my focus oh there's so much coming out so you're seeing live a lot of shit a lot of Energy just coming through me, transmuting, and I just got to keep feeling released, keep feeling released. Today's different. I just got to keep pushing through it. It was either this or nothing, so it has to be this. It's um, let me go with be conscious of your consciousness to form a new super consciousness. Feel and write, feel and write to process to help get you out of your head. Okay, this is really, really intense. I can now feel energies that wanting to push and want me to get off and push and run away. So I'm going to stay here and I'm going to sit and I'm going to persevere to stay in this place. This is really, really intense. The most intense I've ever had live with you. I have this when I do individual divine life healings with people because I know it's for that certain person and I'll say okay this is what I'm picking up for you there is a big bubble of energy right now and it is horrible it is yucky energy and so this is the humanity in the planet's energy I'm feeling right now and it's horrible and it's yucky and I'm going to shift and release that right now it really wants to run away See if you can relate to anything I'm saying. I just want to run away. just want to get away. This is too hard. I don't understand. I'm feeling consumed, I'm confused. My energy's going here. My head's bouncing everywhere. That is what I'm feeling and I'm unable to focus. So I, that is not my normal flow and state of being that I live in. So I know it's foreign and I know it's not mine. So I'm going to release and cut through that right now because the pressure was so intense. There we go. There we go. Can you feel that?
Okay. That's great, Milan. You're feeling very fantastic, very stable and powerful. Bless. That's wonderful. Everyone's in different places, yet we're all in it together. Everyone's going through different phases, different areas. That feels so much better. We started nearly 40 minutes ago, this intensity. Holy dooly. And I've committed to five more days of this. Wow, wow, wow. I can take a break now. That was really intense. Okay. A lot of people have been asking, has head pain been part of the energies? And I will share for those if they resonate, if you have had head pain, apart from maybe having an adjustment, something happening with your neck, anything that way. I say this with love and respect, it means overthinking. Overthinking. There are many reasons for head aches, but when I check with people and they ask me and it comes and I go, overthinking with the head and something clicks for them. So see if that sits with you if you've had the head pain. Oh, good, Pauline. Yes, the collective is scattered and overcome by fear energies for sure. So I'm glad you mentioned that because I have written about this, that this is why we need to stay indoors, people. It is the virus is and I've said this many times in the weekly one and the one yesterday, and I'm not, I am not able to keep going over and over and over. So I'll just mention it briefly. Is an energy virus of mind control. Get out of the head, pull your energy back. I've had to tell so many people around me they've gone too far in their reading of read the, the, what you need to about what to do, of course, to comply with your government, with what's what with what is happening with the world but keep your energy to yourself don't overread don't go to rabbit holes because if you're not staying in your feeling and your emotions and you go into fear what that does is open your energy and those mind control energies come in and then they're like little tentacles okay please keep that's what's happening and if you it's people are being mirrored back to them of their madness. So what you're seeing is the madness being mirrored back. Pull out, stay out of it, okay? Keep her calm. Yeah, I hear you, Sharon. No head pain, just third eye and throat. Yes, the throat has been super tickly as well, EJ. Um, yeah, you just keep being calm yourself. Keep being calm yourself. Yes, solar plexus, absolutely. So I'm going to keep going here. I want you to know this is something really, really powerful. You ready? For these seven days that I'm doing, seven days, seven layers, seven levels, seven chakras, this is day two. Each one of these days is one month. That is how intense the energies are. I don't know why. I just know what I know. There will be some reason energetically. It doesn't matter. When I get it from the divine as a voice speaking, it just is divine truth. One day for these seven days is one month. Doesn't that make you go, oh, thank God, now I understand. For just these specific seven days. It's bizarre, but that's just what it is. Okay? There is an our inner self worth portal vortex now opening with this energetically right now i did this with a divine healing session with someone this morning and i'm going to bring it in now a new divine to bring in you ready just allow yourself i'm not in your space this is between your source connection for your own self inner worth portal vortex opening now releasing all self-worth energy issues up and out right now that's it. Can you feel it tingling, sprinkling? Be consciously aware of your consciousness, as in where are you at being conscious? That is called being super consciously. This is a mind-brain control energetic virus. 
amongst many other real wonderful reasons this is happening. Many are needing to pull their energy back in and not taking this serious enough with their health and life. Please, Masters, pull back, pull back, pull back. These are energetic warnings that Spirit has been sharing for a while, that I've been sharing for a while. Pull back. This is survival. Weeks ago, it was shared from Spirit. People will come and hit a brick wall. They will be faced with mirrored with themselves. This is now playing out in our physical world. Milan, I hear what you're saying. You're so much in need to share this strength. If you can, tune in, rest on your shoulder. You love your all. Put it all on you, sweetheart. You're here. So I will say, no, this is not for them. I hear about your love that you have for others and you're saying, take a rest on my shoulder. You are secured. I give you a promise. Put on me. This is time for each soul to put it on themselves, Milan. It's time for each master to rely upon themselves. And I, I, I love you for it, but it's not for them to put it on you. No, no, bless you, bless you for offering. But no, no. And let me read a bit more. If you're in need to share this strength, you're needed to share the strength for you. This is about you. No one else can help you but you. No one else can heal you but you, Master. So thank you for Milan um, Vasilijevic for saying that because I've written here. I just need to find it. So go with me here. So thank you. No coincidences. I wrote, spinning through the pages, la, 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 la. Shifting energy up and down, can you feel it? Okay, I know what it is, so I don't need to write it. It is that. I have mentioned before, wear a pendant. Wear some shungite. Put protection around. Have crystals. Increase your protection, but ultimately, masters, your Consciousness is your protection now. No one else can protect you. Bless you, my neighbour. No one else can protect you more than you. So Milan offering that will not give them the safety and protection. They need to protect themselves. And I'm going to find it because I wear it. Ah, here it is. Here we go. Found it. We are in the seven day new earth process right now of hidden energies exposures from our core, our earth's core through our seven chakras for the seven days. What I said, the 24th to the 31st of March for you. I'm going off Australian Eastern Standard Time. This is day two. So randomly I'll be coming on live, no warning or heads up. It'll just be tap, get on with a couple of minutes. Okay, please let the head stop taking control. It is about my life. Your life is at stake. You need to increase your consciousness. As far as protection, my awareness of energy protection is enough. Protecting the innocent energy of the innocent new galactic energy child. The key is to bring your conscious awareness in. That is your protection. No pendant or crystal can cover or do. And I've written boom. Ultimately, after applying and using the crystals and everything else and the whatever you use, I saw this today when I shared with someone about interacting with anyone's energy, reminding as they brought their conscious awareness, I could see and feel, okay, I'm telling to give you an example now. I shared this with somebody about their consciousness and their awareness. And they felt it was out of their control. They felt it was outside of them. I can't control this, it's those head energies. I said, yes, you can. When I shared with them, when you interact with other people's energies, you need to be conscious of your energy and their energy. It does not matter who it is. 
When you become consciously aware of that, of that, that is enough for you to have protection. That's what I'm getting at. Okay? Your consciousness is your saving grace. You are your own saviour. You, 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 you. No one else can protect you. No one else has your vibration. You need your own vibration of your consciousness for your own protection, masters. Okay, are you getting the gist of what I'm saying? Because to me, on this side delivering, I feel all over the place as I'm bringing energy through. It is scattered multidimensionally. When I replay and watch these, I go, wow. And I listen, I get a healing myself. On this side delivering, it's a mess of energies all over that I'm bringing bits and pieces through. And it's very different watching it back for myself. You're welcome. Your ultimate protection is your consciousness. This is fucking reality and truth now. I can vouch for that right now. It is. We've known it, but it really is. Be conscious of where your consciousness is at. That is what I've been saying. There's a new super consciousness coming in. I, I coined that newly. I have read that it has been written before, but with all the other people writing, they talk about new consciousness. I'm going super consciousness. It's a super consciousness. It's, just, it's not just consciousness. It's being conscious of your consciousness. And that's being super conscious. And when you do that, that is your new protection for yourself that nobody and nothing can protect you. But you with your consciousness is your overall new armor protection and not only here in the human you've got to protect yourself in spirit as well there's two of you you've got a higher self that's linked to your spirit that's linked to your soul soul spirit soul spirit there's two don't just do down here and forget what's going on up there you've got another you in the astrals just sit with that. Don't go into too many questions. Just sit with that knowledge. I've, I've written about this. Oh, I saw someone did a cranky face before. But I've written about this and shared about this before. I'm not going to go into it. Just know. It's where your thoughts, your energy goes out, okay? There's another you you need to protect. There's no delay anymore with the mirror energies. It's instantaneous. So what we're seeing is instantaneous, instantaneous madness in the world. 22, 44, and 43 souls. Bless you, there's seven. Boom. So of the madness of the world, of people being reflected back to themselves or what was the inner and what a lot of, um, of this is the beginning of the new Atlantis energies rising, Masters, which is releasing the power over others and that dominance is going. We're not doing another loop we're creating a new Atlantis rising energy. Thank you for Edini for saying that last time. I heard on a video recently, and I cannot recall which lady it was, and I took a breath because it was 3.49 this morning, in and out, rest, processing. And she said, our shadow is our partner. And I went, oh, I like that. Our shadow is our partner because I've been talking and sharing a lot about owning your shadow side. So sit with our shadow is our partner. I love it. It's just brilliant. I'm getting the wind up to go soon. So I want to say to you with all of that, which I will need to watch back for myself, is a lot of people being feeling lost inside. It's the inner child that is feeling lost. Do not fill yourself with your head and your thoughts. Write and get in touch with that energy. We need to create a new us without all the distractions of going on in the world and it be quite, can be quite daunting. We need to bring our energy back in. I have a wagon wheel method that I can share. I have shared this before. I think I did in 2013 to bring your energy in. All it is is see like a water fountain spurting out of your crown chakra. Reverse the water and bring the water back in. Simple. You can do a simple one like that. It's visual, okay? The essences that came up for us at the moment is Boab. I'm shifting the vibration higher. Can you feel it? We're raising. 
Boab clears negative emotional and mental family patterns passed on from generation to generation. This is Holocaust energies, which I shared in a post from beautiful writing divine healing that Monica Jones did because I previously shared about this is Holocaust for humanity energies. And I've moved from that in sharing the latest coming through Monica part of her divine journey and the beautiful soul asked me, I don't want to step into your energy, but I am getting to share this about the Holocaust from when you wrote that. I said, you go for it, sister. We're in this together. Write what comes from you. And I shared it. And so many of you, it really resonated. We're in this together. This is what's different. This is what's different than others that are sharing. I'm working in with you. I don't think my shit don't stink that I'm up myself. There are so many that are high and mighty out there. I'm nothing like that. Not at all. But I do. I actually do demand respect of my energy space and I give that to myself first. Always. Always. I'll muck around. I will joke. I will laugh at you when it comes to this. I'm passionate. Don't fuck with me. You know, I know my stuff. Very passionate. This is why I'm alive because you're here too. So others are posting their baby pictures. That's fantastic to know. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. So the Boab bush flower essence, it clears the negative lines of karma between people. You can look that up for yourself for those recipients of abuse. And that's interesting. I'm going back to others are posting pictures of baby. What a beautiful healing at this time, very much with what we're sharing here. There's tears, there's cranky, there's laugh pictures. It's interesting what you're sharing. And you in togetherness, that's beautifully. Lovingly respect, yes. The other essence that came through was red lily. It's the same flower as a sacred lotus in the Buddhist tradition. It's for spirituality connected to God in a grounded and centered way. It's for those that are vague, disconnected, split, like a focused daydreaming. The positive outcome is grounded, focused, living in the present connection with life and God. You can use the telepathy, the new Atlantis rising telepathy energies and read these essences yourself and tap and feel it come in. You've got to do some of this work. You've got to do this work yourself. It's time. It's time. It's time. You've got to do this for yourself. I know you know just sharing, hey? Okay, a big round circle of healing. Trust, 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 faith, then trust, faith, then trust. Right, 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 to get out of the head to link with your emotions. And I will continue saying it because I keep continuing to saying it to people verbally that I've been saying it to it for many years. <laughs> and that's okay because we each need to face and come and hit a brick wall of hitting ourselves. We can't go any further in the old and a lot of getting it in the physical to go, oops, I need to change something. Okay. So I'm just checking in now. I'm going to look at your comments, see if there's anything else to bring through. A lot of people have been saying they're feeling lost and what you're feeling lost about and what's missing is you. There's just different conversations and healings I've had with different people and one of them was something doesn't feel quite right. I keep looking. I, keep, I said it's because you're jumping ahead. You're wanting to be in the future. The missing bit you're looking for, you need to newly create. That's why you can never find it. And they've been looking for so long and they stopped them in their tracks when I said that. And then all of a sudden something exploded um, in the car, exploded another one, something else happened and, and it's for them to really get that jerk. Um, what, and uh, weeks, and it's, it's, it's a bit hard for me to recall, um, weeks ago I wrote about that. Something will happen. I said it doesn't please me to share this, but something big will happen for people to face themselves. Lots of grief, yes. Yes, there is grief coming up as well. Just going out these notes. Ah, beautiful. Okay, we have a balance of Mother Mary and Christ energies if I come in together jointly. Someone bring them in right now.
all the energy stream, feel them come through you. It's like a caduceus that comes in of golden energy of both the energies weaving. There's a balance and also the masculine feminine, that's beautiful. All right, masters, uh, um, thank you for being here for part two of seven. And remember, part one was yesterday and that the Monday weeklies are still happening as well, um, which will be interesting with the Monday weekly if I get my diary out and have a look. So the Monday weekly, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, oh. <laughs> the seventh day is a Monday weekly one, isn't that funny? <laughs> I love how that works. <laughs> All divinely timed. Um, I am available from um, the first week of April for personal one-on-one -on -one divine healings, bluebeyondguide.com. For those that resonate, to book in. All of these are a gift for freedom, freedom, freedom. Yesterday's video, I spoke about the 12th of January healing I did and another healing I did that you can follow meditation. If you check yesterday's part one of seven, I actually went and found those links and provided them for you. So if you're at home and you're looking for things to work on yourself, I've got heaps. There is heaps here for you to work on for yourself. This is the time. We are creating a new super consciousness starting with us first. Throat's about to go. <coughs> Clearing that. We wait and we see. We don't panic. We wait and see what's happening. They're shutting down more and more in Australia for the governments to cope, I believe. We're waiting for everything. They're shutting down more each day, more and more and more. For us in our brains and minds to adjust and accept. This is our World War Three equivalent. Actually, I wrote that the other day that I was out somewhere getting an adjustment done and someone said, I read someone wrote, this is our World War Three." I laughed. I said, darling, I wrote that. It was beautiful to hear when someone said, I read that. I said, yes, you did read the Blue Beyond. So it was just beautiful. Um, oh, beautiful, EJ. Thank you. You're holding your golden healer point, Ma. I said those. Wonderful. Thank you for your healings. Thank you for contributing. Thank you, Tanya, Robin, Rhonda. Joanne, thank you. Carlene, thank you, darling. Sylvia, um, swim in a cool mate, the Christ, Mary energy. Yes, yes, yes. I want to stay. I don't want to go. So I can feel you must want me to stay on as well. I can feel my energy wants to stay here with you all. So let me just sit here for a minute and bring rainbow healings out to you all. It's beautiful to be in this divine space, isn't it? Okay. No one else can help you, only you can. No one else has your vibration. That is why I hold the space of my own divine vibrational energy, Masters, for you to find your own inner divine healing. No self-elevating ego, no rescuing, no martyring or massive fees for this. This is free of freedom as a gift for you all and for humanity. Anything else is a private and personal one-on-one -on -one is divinely guided with an exchange I am entitled to do for myself of my divine energy. Be conscious of your consciousness to form a new super consciousness. Feel right and process twice. Feel twice, read twice, question yourself twice process twice we are needing to feel twice to allow it to come through from our spirit to soul what i shared with what monica wrote and i will end with this beautiful energy what monica jones wrote to feel into this twice monica says ascending earth update take what resonates Sharing with whoever resonates needs this for his or her journey. What she received early this morning, a spirit woke her, woke her to write this. Holocaust energy 
clearing linked to the fear of a loved one contracting the virus. Fear being felt about a loved one coming down with the virus humanity is facing, which could result in having a loved one in the hospital without being able to take care of them. Following or wanting people to follow the stayed home lockdown orders due to this fear. She says, I'm not encouraging you not to stay at home, just pointing out for what energy space you are doing so. Take a moment and feel into this as this is part of humanity cleansing, releasing from the Holocaust energies coming through us now, of which many had to be separated from a loved one. In many cases, we never saw them again. This could also be felt lived in the dream state as many times our soul release, releases much in other realms. That's what I call in spirit. However, the energy feeling presents itself. Please know I do not take this lightly and I do know Holocaust is a heavy energy to be felt. Take a deep breath. Now you're okay. See a black pressure on our chest now. We're going to release this for all of humanity because our energetic field does not recognize time. Our nervous system might feel we are not safe. Acknowledge this and repeat to yourself that everything is going to be okay and you are safe. As I'm reading this, lifting this black cauldron, black metal off our heart and higher heart, feel the energy trickling to our past generations, going back, releasing and freeing past lives, lifetimes, generational holocaust humanity there is no need to remember what happened back then this is about allowing the present fear around the virus to be felt so deep past wounds related to this past experience can be healed one once what arises is felt is like a big weight is being lifted off our shoulders because i'm up to the shoulders now i brought it from the heart higher heart and we feel a new space is created within our heart. <sighs> Take a moment to feel this liberation, new freedom too. From these spaces where we can receive the new, see your lotus leaf open, your pink and gold. This is all for now. We'll share more as received and guided. Feel whatever is arising and let the E motion be felt and flow this is how our soul wounds are healed and our consciousness awakens monica jones 2020 thank you monica for this amazing insight and healing for all of humanity and with this golden pink lotus here that is opened i want to see i want you to see a golden mesh of protection around your higher heart and your heart of hearts now it is time to super protect your heart and higher heart now. It is survival, masters. Peace, calm and bliss. I love you. Up and down all the chakras now. Thank you for being here. Thank you for being on here with me. I need to go. I'll leave you with that. Bye.